there was a capacity crowd in the Allianz Arena in Munich. All the fans, certainly the Bayern fans, hoping to see their side end 2010 with a victory against St. Pauli. Bayern in the red and white, of course, but St. Pauli playing in the brown had brought a huge number of fans the length of Germany all the way down from Hamburg. And it was quite a bright start from St. Pauli. 14th in the table, struggling a bit in recent weeks. They beat Kaiserslautern last time out. The first win in seven, but they went close. A wonderful opportunity falling to Finn Bartels. He couldn't believe it, skying the chance. That really should have been the lead for the visitors. Bayern playing well at home. That, by the way, is Holger Stanislavski, the uh, coach of St. Pauli. He couldn't believe Bartels' miss either. Bayern, four home wins and 14 goals scored. Altin top with a wonderful strike on 16 minutes. Van Gaal off his bench, absolutely delighted. Hamid Altin top, not a regular member of the Bayern side. Stanislavski wondered where his defence had disappeared to. Iron Robin injured with his little baby son on his arm. He won't be back till the new year, but he too over the moon at a wonderful goal. A neat pass from Schweinsteiger, but an absolutely sensational finish from Altin top his first goal of the season Jörg Bott, the Bayern goalie also delighted no chance whatsoever for Kessler in goal Bayern with their tails up a wonderful opportunity for Schweinsteiger a free header and he couldn't even hit the target that was on 24 minutes Schweinsteiger Bayern want him to sign a new contract Still in doubt whether he will stay with Munich. The cross and the shot from Ebers. It was a good ball in. And Ebers should also have done better. The expression on his face shows that he agrees. The ball sitting up very nicely indeed. Ebers over the bar. Not scored for eight games. The Zank Pauli striker. One minute from half-time. Tony Crowe's trying to guide it round Kessler, but the St. Pauli goalkeeper on loan from FC Cologne is in spellbinding form this season. At half-time, 1-0 for Bayern. Ian Robin looking on with perhaps Holland's next Robin international. Five minutes in to the second half, and St. Pauli with a great chance, but can't get anything on it, and from two strides out, Ebers cannot convert. That really was a terrible miss from Marius Ebers, once again in slow motion. Fabulous ball in from Kruser, and Ebers just tapping it goalwards instead of giving it everything. Stanislavski knows that should have been the equaliser. Two minutes later, Schweinsteiger, almost instrumental in everything, a wonderful pass and a glorious opportunity for Thomas Müller. Müller playing in a striker's role, closer back from injury on the bench, Gomez rested and Olic injured Müller given the striker's role. Should have scored and he knows it. 55 minutes played, Bayern turning the screw slowly but surely on the visitors. Out in top to Müller, and this time it is an immaculate save from Kessler that prevents Müller from scoring for Bayern. Nevertheless, the chances were being piled up by Bayern, but they weren't taking them. Miro Closer, wondering if he was perhaps going to be given a run out corner for the visitors neat flick but really not enough power or direction behind it to trouble the Bayern goalkeeper three minutes later and then a decision by the referee that really ended the game for St. Pauli Müller brought down in the box by Kessler yes it was a penalty but was the red card essential? The law book says if you prevent a goal, you've got to go. But for my money, it's double punishment. Yellow card, yes. 
and indeed a penalty, yes. So, Kessler went off, and it was the veteran, Matthias Hein, 38 years old, he'll be on New Year's Eve, having to come in in goal. His first job to try and stop Lahm's penalty, 71 minutes gone, no way, 2-0 Bayern. Lahm with his third goal of the season. And that really was the end of the game as a contest. From then on, it was only ever going to be a question of how many Bayern were going to score. Eight minutes later, Frank Ribéry holds off the challenge, coolly goes round goalkeeper Hines, slots it home, a beautiful goal. It was a great second half from the Frenchman. Two goals against Basel in the Champions League in midweek and another on Saturday against St Pauli. 3-0 for Bayern, the game well beyond the reach of the Hamburg side. The only question was, could Bayern maybe get a fourth? Altintop's corner and the header against the post from Schweinsteiger. Once again, it was a free header and Schweinsteiger feels he should have done better. Still, it was only the post that prevented him from scoring. And that was the end of the action. Party time in Munich and great news for the fans because Bastian Schweinsteiger announced after the game that he would be staying with Munich. Great news on top of a 3-0 win.